How many public relationships mm -hmm. have you been involved in? One. And that was a marriage you were in? Yes. And how long was that marriage for? Six years. Are you done with public relationships at this point? Um, my mind says yes, my heart says no, only because I feel like if it's the right relationship and it's a healthy relationship and it's not something that you're pretending to have a front on, pretending to be happy, pretending, hiding certain issues and certain things that's going on, I feel like then yes, I could be in a public healthy relationship. But if it's a toxic relationship and I'm constantly hiding things from my fans and constantly covering up things to make this person seem amazing, then no. So I'm kind of conflicted. I kind of, my next relationship, I just want to protect it. That's my baby. Be that as it may, mm -hmm. can you give the audience five tips on public relationships? Mm, five tips will be keep social media out your business. One. <laughs> Two, don't post your, that goes along with business, your problems. If you're emotional and you just went through something with your significant other, don't get on the internet because baby, we can tell. They, they could tell when I was sad. They could tell when I was mad. They could tell when I was going through something. Even though I tried to have different topics, they still would be like, what's really wrong with you? <laughs> so your real true fans who've been following you can tell. Number four would be, um, hmm, I would say spend more time, real time in your relationship versus social media. Don't just, Post every single thing you do, whether it's pictures, whether it's videos, have some alone time, have some real lifetime and not let it be so much social media all, all the time. And number five would be um, always, always get help with counseling. I feel like that should be whether you got good things going on or bad things going on. I feel like counseling can help you maneuver because when those bad things come up, you've already learned the tools to go forward. And just for context, care to share the name of the person you were married to at that time? Uh, no, he's irrelevant.